everybody. I'm Steph. I'm Michael. Today we're going to check out Divinus. Yes, from Fortunate Mallard Games. Wait, no. Lucky Duck Games. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if you don't know, this game is now on GameFound. GameFound. It is yes. getting... GameFound, for those of you who don't know, is like Kickstarter. Not Kickstarter. But is not Kickstarter. <laughs> Basically so. the same, but not. And I'm going to put the link right here. They funded it in, what, 24 Thanks, minutes right? or something? Like... I don't know, really fast. Yes. Uh, because it's a really cool... It's really cool. It's a really cool game. Yeah, and it's split into... Is it 12? 12, 12 scenarios. scenarios. We only have the first two. And... Okay, so number one, 12 scenarios. Right. Number two, hmm. legacy. Oh, yeah. So for those of you who aren't used to putting stickers on components, <laughs> get used to it. Get used to it. It's fun. And three, when you're done... The game isn't isn't just trashed. So you can still you play can it. still play it with whatever you've ended up with at the time. Mm. Totally fine. Totally fine. Totally fine. Cool. Yeah. So I make sure I didn't leave anything out with that. It's an app driven game. You'll know that it's that digital hybrid is the term. It's oh. a digital hybrid game. So you're gonna need the app. You're gonna need the app. Um, Lucky Duck, before they were a board game publisher, they all worked as a as app developers. So it makes sense that they've turned in what they've already know and love into the board gaming universe. So mm -hmm. that's why you have games like um, Cry uh, Chronicles of Crime um, and The Venice right here. And I think there's there's more. I'm just having a brain fart, but. You know, they put a lot of work into, like, Chronicles of Crime with all those different stories using the app. It's really cool. Yeah. And so this this will have a similar progression, but less story, but yeah, I man, believe. There's quite a few digital hybrid games Th out now. There are. Um, and a lot of people are like, Destiny's, oh, thank no. You. <laughs> I don't, yes. I don't want any sort of games that require an app. And what happens when the app doesn't work and this, that... There's Divinus, there's Journeys in Middle Earth, there's Destinies, yeah. and there's, there's, as you mentioned, Chronicles of Crime. There are several out there that are, that are really worth looking into. Um, for those of you who haven't yet given a digital hybrid game a try, I think that... Uh, We've come a long way. Give it a try. Yeah. It's really not as... Evil sounding as it as it sounds. You know, I when mean, it first showed up on the on the scene, I was like, mm, I don't really need a digital aspect to my gaming. But as you see how it's been used since then, it's like so many good progressions. I think I think, I think Journeys really helped you turn the corner on that. Yeah, well, I actually, think. it was Mansions of Madness. Oh, really? Yeah, Very nice. Mansions of Madness, second edition. Second edition, because first edition it was not as good. Um, having a you know the the dm so to speak that would that would control the game and then right. one other person going through um and to me it didn't feel like a 1v1 sort of thing introduce the app and then you've got two people against the literally now the game it's much much better where the app handles all of those functions yeah so yeah i think that that really and i've never played it but i have heard it's it really makes good. it it makes it fantastic. Yeah. I played first and I was like, no, I, I don't, I don't, played one scenario, didn't need it. Mm -hmm. I actually do want to play second edition when we have a chance. <laughs> All so, the oh, is that time. So, yes. Um, so, let's take a look. Like, starting in, what did it just say? It erased our first game. All right. That, oh, starting the game would erase the first game. We did, we have played it. We have not stickered anything. We intentionally did not sticker anything. We will anything. do it this time. We though. will do it this time. So, how many players? Two players. I'm in the yeah, app, it's just... asking me. Next. Yeah. Now I'm gonna. Now we're gonna read, right? Sure. Unless you want to explain what we're doing first. Well, okay. So, do 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 do. Um, we're gonna take on the role of demigods. Um, we are gonna witness the conflict between the gods of the Greek. Pantheon and the Nordic Pantheon. So Greeks versus Norse head to head. It's fun. Yep, it is. <laughs> um, oh, I should probably read this introduction here. Yeah, you read it. Yeah. You always felt special since early childhood. You've displayed extraordinary talents 
and inhuman abilities that none of your peers were able to match. Although your heritage was shrouded in mystery, many around you, including yourself, suspected what you now know for sure. You are a demigod, a powerful being of both godly and human descent. The truth was finally revealed to you through enigmatic dreams which have haunted you for the past year. There were bright visions of lush islands, unknown and grateful foreigners, and beautiful gods walking in your presence, but also dark visions showing catastrophes in the icy waters of the north and your personal involvement in disastrous conflicts. What all these fantastic dreams had in common was an ever-present and mysterious white-haired woman always pointing and driving you toward the faraway land of Greece and fueling your ambition of taking your rightful place among the gods. Mm -hmm. Now, after a long, long journey, you have finally arrived at Delphi, a great sanctuary in the center of Greece and home to the oracle known as Pythia. Perhaps soon you will finally meet face-to-face with the woman from your dreams. Ooh. Called Brahma. <laughs> Brahma. No, that's the end. end. <laughs> I could read it like Brahma. Come closer, youngsters. <laughs> I've been expecting you. My name is Pythia. I am the one who sees the future in all its possibilities, and I can see that your fates are clearly bound to this land. Though I've seen you in my visions, I do not know your names. How should I address you? No, I didn't think Introduce I yourself. Now, this is the funny part. Under what's your name, it says... Choose your demo god. <laughs> Is it because it's a demo? I don't know. However, <laughs> this is the funny. app that is demo only. So this is not what the normal. This is the demo be. only app. Yeah. Choose your demo god. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna. So choose... I don't know. I don't know if that was intentional or not. I'm gonna choose her. Percy Jackson versus Magnus Chase. Oh, DVD, that's the future. <laughs> so, you're going to choose. So, what is your name? Mm, what's my name, everybody? She's really cute. Show her. What is it? I know mine. Okay, you can, can do yours first. You have to show mine now. Oh, I'm going to show mine. This is, I'm doing me right now. No. Yes. This is me. There are places to put stickers on this each side of the box. I've got a backpack with three items. And a I guess that's a title or something that should go under there. This is me. <laughs> and my name comes from This part is definitely like Charterstone, Julie. Yeah. So this this part this part came from my youngest son. I am Stormageddon! Well, so all these boxes have, like, things where you write or things where you put a sticker. It's much like Charterstone. You have your own box, and then you'll be marking the sides, probably. You'll see these, like, spots. And on the back, you can possibly get some upgrades. I have no idea. Um, There's Steph. All right. What does she look like to you? Steph. She does not look like me. Stephageddon. No. Um. (laughs) Sylvia? Oh, she's pretty. Lana? Are those talking to you? We either gotta go Pumpkin. with Lana or Sylvia. A nail. It's Anel. perfect. It's a nail. A nail. Okay, we're going. We're gonna go with a nail because it looks just like a nail. <laughs> it's perfect. I do like Sylvia though. That was nice. A nail. <laughs> that was perfect. It doesn't look like her, but it's good enough. It kind of looks like her. So. Julie, yeah. By now, each of you has selected an avatar and a demigod box. Now, open the white envelope in the game box. Inside, you will find a sticker sheet with three slash six die stickers. Each player will take three slash six in their demigod's color and applies it onto any side of one of their dice. Mm. I have already placed mine because, like I said, we played it. Um, and it only goes on one of your six dice. So, Steph and I have placed them on our dice, but they're not on the same face. I put mine on a one. And I put mine on a three. So. I I didn't really know why, I just did. 
You just did. I'm like, it's probably better to have higher numbers. <laughs> we don't know. We don't know. It's going to be like, next time you roll a one, well, you see, get that's something the, awesome. That's the thing, though. <laughs> I didn't know whether it's low or high was better right, before I stuck the, the sticker. Yeah. So I'll put it in the middle. Yeah, that makes sense. And I didn't know whether odd or even was better. Right. So I put it on one of them that already had one of those numbers on it. That was my logic. Makes so, sense. You will get a little bit of information here in this first game, but not enough that will spoil you for the rest of it. No, definitely not. We only have two scenarios in this, and to be honest, I'm not going to play that second game because I don't want to know anything, and we don't have a third scenario. So yeah, we're gonna do the we're gonna do the first scenario only, and we're gonna play through the app and because we didn't actually play through the app at, at the end of the scenario. You're, when you end, it's supposed to be like hit end scenario, and then you get a whole and lot then of you get something. But I did not is. want to get any information, and <laughs> if I see anything that's gonna spoil you guys, I might not give it to you. So unless you want it. And then I'll give plenty of people spoiler warnings. Yeah. All right. So, are you ready to proceed? Oh, we need the sound. There's music with this. Yeah. So, so good. Cause, Look at that. Listen to it. Can you guys hear that? Destiny's didn't have sound when we played it, so this is really good. So this is really good. Are yeah. you ready? Yeah. Boom. So you want to walk the path of the gods. Your ambition is great, to become one of the almighty beings. Bold, I must say, bold indeed, and reckless. You must know that of all possible paths, I can see only one new place in the Pantheon. The gods will choose only one of you to join them, and the rest will be forgotten. There can be only one new Divinus. Okay. There can be only one. Now, there's lots of there's lots of story. The world is still young, although Mother Gaia has just shaped it into this form. It is already in peril. Mighty and unfamiliar forces loom on the horizon. The frozen giant Emir is coming from the far north, followed by a massive flotilla of ships where Gaia celebrates life in all its forms and strives to make the world as diverse as she can, Ymir cares only about uniformity and conquest of vast swaths of land. To impress Ymir, one must think big. I did find one of these spelling errors here. Highlander? There can be only one. <laughs> As was asking us about the spelling years, so I'm putting it here. So I remember. Hmm. All right, take the Gaia and Emir God cards from the Scenario 1 box and place them on the board. So we have Gaia, which is actually written here Gaia. It's weird though, because the app has G A I A and the rules have G A I A. So I don't know how this goes. So anyway, um, and then we have Emir. Oh yeah. So, look at the board. Yeah, let's look at the board. Are you ready to proceed? Yes. Oh, but we have more. The clash of the two pantheons is inevitable, and I foresee that it will be a long and bloody one. For their powers are evenly matched. Many gods will find their demise, and there will be casualties on both sides. All right, I have a question. What? If there will, if if many gods will meet their demise, won't there be more room in the pantheon? Maybe. I mean, okay. Ill fate for them, but not necessarily for you, young demigods. For when this divine clash ends, the gods that survive will form a new alliance, a new pantheon, and among their ranks. There will be a place for one new Ascendant God. One of you shall claim it. I agree, uh, uh, man. It should be G-A-I-A. -A. You are correct. So, and I, I explained this to Az the other day. Um, 
Which one, you ask? That is entirely in your own hands, for the future unfolds among many diverging paths. To sit with the gods as their equal, one must make wise choices. Maneuvering with wit through the turbulent times ahead, will you choose to support one side over the other? Or will you seek the acceptance of both pantheons at once? Gods are capricious beings, and there are no obvious choices on the steep path to godhood. Lastly, looking at the heavens, do not forget about your human heritage, demigods. For the humans, fragile creatures though they are, are very important to the gods of both pantheons. Both of the indigenous people, both the indigenous people of Greece, which is this symbol here on the side, this gold symbol, and the Viking invaders, which is this symbol over here, might be seen as mere pawns on this vast playground of the gods. But I am certain they will play a significant role in the story to come. Do not underestimate them. Though weak and short-lived, humans are numerous. And remember that Greeks and Vikings are not the only people who inhabit these lands. The barbarian tribes, down here at the bottom, have their own destinies. And even I cannot yet tell what their role in upcoming events will be. Take the quest cards named the First Polis, the Winter Has Come, Winter Is Coming, and Unleash the Horde from Scenario Box 1 and place them on their spaces on the main board. Review each one to ensure that we all know the gods for the current scenario. So, uh, there is actually room on this board that we have not shown you. Notice, there's room for two gods on each side. And seven quests. It's actually six, but... Oh, six? No, you just actually pushed that down. Yeah. So, six quests. But just so you can see everything that we are doing in front of us here, we're moving this a little bit up. Because it's not necessary. Um, for the first polis, have four of the Greek symbols on your map. Unleash the Horde, have four Barbarians on your map. And the Winter has come, four Norse symbols on your map. So, um, and I will tell you about the gods here in a second. The time is now, your fate is in your own hands. Go and take part in shaping this world and your own futures. Ooh. So, the app will show you who is ahead on each uh, whether it is red for the Greeks or blue for the Norse. Uh, and whoever is ahead with the most um, favor symbols is on that final uh, column. Although it looks like I'm ahead, that's not exactly the case because it's just, it's random at that point. Yeah. Because the last time we put this in, I, I believe it said you were at the top on two of them and I was at the top on one of them. Which is sort of weird, but whatever. I think it's because you put your name in first last time. Uh, I put my name in first. Time. That's what I'm trying to say. It wasn't you on the top of all three. It was. N no, it wasn't. I was at the top of one of those three. Just from the start. I don't know what the deal was, but that's how it was. I mean, we both have the same number of points. Yeah. Which is <laughs> zero. Yeah. Um, on the app, uh, you're able to mark who completes quest, and it'll keep track of all of that for you. So that's sort of cool. I will move this over by Steph. So, <clears throat> in a two-player game, you will use all six dice. In a three-player game, you'll use five. In a four-player game, you will use four. Um, each of us will... Uh, so, you already shuffled these, Steph? Yeah. So, uh, in order to impress Gaia at the end of the game... Uh, you want to have the most grasslands and water and mountains. Although you can't really tell that that is bright green. It actually is. So, um, whoever normally in a, uh, I believe this is in a three or four player game, whoever has the most will get two favor. Second most will get one. Here's the catch. In a two player game, then the winner gets one. 
get second place points and the whoever is in second gets nothing. So, um, looking for most of each of these symbols. Uh, the most areas. Not the largest area, but the most areas. Now, what constitutes an area? Here is grassland and mountain. You can't really see the grassland. Let me pull up a one with, uh, with mountain and water. It's going to be easier for you guys to see on the green screen. So you've got mountain and water here. Um, neither of those is an area unto itself. However, if you can get two of the same area together, two of the same land type, this constitutes one area. Um, you notice you don't have two water areas yet, but you could. So um, if I have this and I create water areas, for instance, here and here, if I might be shooting for the most water areas over here and maybe one big, uh, one big mountain area. Why would I want a big area? Hey, Emir is looking for the largest area of grassland and water and mountain. So Gaia wants the most, Emir wants the biggest. So uh, here's the other catch. Um, you may have a tile grid no larger than four by four. You can't have a fifth tile you know, in a row. Yeah. Uh, the first one you can place anywhere. Everything else has to go around it. I'm assuming that's where they are. I cannot. Is the is the music annoying, Julie? Because I can either lower it or turn it off. I can't tell because I'm not listening. Is that a hang drum? I don't know what a hang drum is. Is that like the big brass symbol? I don't know. I don't know what a hang drum is either. No, it's okay. All right, so um, we are going to roll our dice. And whoever rolls the lowest will go first. Whoops. It sits on your lap. And it's not You hanging. hit it with your hands. I didn't know. Oh, uh, that's not a good roll for me. It looks like it's me. I got 24. Wow. I got 5, 8, 10, uh, 11, 13, 16. So I am big time lower. All right. So I get the little first player dude. Look at this dude. He's so cute. <laughs> so, um, so we have these tiles, which seem to all have these... Um, sacred places you cannot place anything on the sacred places now this seems to be and we've already mentioned this to as um i can't quite tell but i think these these two places cannot have any stickers on them mm -hmm. but it's hard to tell some of them it's super easy like this you can easily tell which areas you cannot have stickers. Yeah. Because you can't place a sticker over a sacred place. But some of them... Uh, I know that the intent is probably to not allow a sticker here. But some of these are really... They tried to make the tiles a little bit different in the orientation of the sacred places. Mm -hmm. But it's supposed to block two places. But it sort of makes it so... The intent, I think, is to not be able to allow it placed here. Although you could physically place the sticker there. So, just keep it's that in mind. Up, it is taking up two of the spots it, where stickers can. Each of the sacred places consume two spaces. Otherwise, go, yeah. Now, notice the two plus in the middle. We are using only tiles with two plus in it. You'll also add the three plus if you... Uh, the Is it three... Three yeah. or three plus. Three plus with it three, says three players plus. and then four. And then four for four players. Okay. So you'll add those in there. Um, the Norse tiles are the ones that have uh, the, the Greek and Norse and barbarian symbols on them. 
So whenever we refresh, whenever we refresh the display here, one through six will have the Greek tiles with the sacred places. Seven through 12 will have the Norse tiles with the little, uh, with the symbols on them. And these tiles will have stickers placed on them as we go. So, um, over the course of the game, we're gonna, uh, uh, have, everything's gonna have a varying number of rounds. Um, on your turn, you perform one action. Um, you can place your dice on one of these tiles and you will claim that tile. Um, now, the dice are not just additive. Uh, it takes a little bit to explain. So let's say I have this five here. I could place this on the five tile or I could add this two to it to either place it on the seven tile or the three tile because five minus two is three. So you can add or subtract in order to hit exactly the tile you want. So with all four of these dice, I have a lot of options. Um, like I could go five, seven, 10, minus one is nine or plus one is 11. So I can have lots of different options to get me between one and 12 where I wanna be. Yeah, obviously I wouldn't do um, five minus two is three, plus one is four minus three is one, because I could do that with just one die. Mm -hmm. However, just know that the flexibility can be good. If anybody rolls a three slash sim six symbol, they can use it either for a three or as a six. Uh, the other thing you can do is to take back all your dice, because those dice are gonna sit out here until you rest the turn and take back all your dice. Um, now, whenever you place a tile, you have to be able to place it somewhere in your tableau. So if I start out with this, that's gonna really limit my options next turn because I can take only blue tiles. Or you take your dice back. <laughs> or I take my dice back at that point. Um, so yeah, try not to do that is my recommendation. But when you do take your dice back, you do fill in the board with all the empty spaces. Oh, the hang drum. It's like an upside down walk. Yeah. Wow. I, I That's would, different. I can envision that. You know? Yeah. I was thinking actually maybe you should be purple or the horrible yellow color. Why should I be yellow? It's kind of just hard to see your dice. Oh. But that's up to you. They're kind of light blue and seeing the numbers is a little bit more challenging. Ah, oh, gotcha. Well, let me... Let me swap out with these blue... You can still be the blue, blue character, dice. but yeah. yeah. That's true. You can't see it that well. Uh, yeah, your dice are white with baby five, blue. Yeah. Three, three, two, two, one. Oh, but I don't have my three, six. Okay. I will, I will, I will place it. I've just got to find the stickers. This is just a demo copy. Yeah. They did give us a bunch of stickers, though, so. You should be yellow because it's close to orange that the game has. Yeah, but the yellow is like a mustard. The yellow is very m It's mustard. not like my favorite color. So here is the yellow color. What do you guys want me to use? <laughs> I think purple stands out best. Purple seems really easy to see. It, it looks orange. It kind exactly. Of, it's kind of like an orangey yellow mustard. I think it's having a tr trouble deciding what it wants to be. It's sort of yellow up here, sort of orange right there. It's, yeah. <laughs> the yellow is gross. Purple is nice. <laughs> the yellow, <laughs> yellow is gross. Uh, Sorry, Julie. So just so you can see the characters, you got a sneak peek at him. There's the last character there. That she looks like they Elena. Look really actually. good. She what? She looks like Elena. I think Julie said I should name my character Elena. This this girl kind of looks like Elena. Yes. So, um, Goldenrod. Yes, it does <laughs> look like Goldenrod. Hey, Dan, we are just starting Divinus. 
Uh, I am trading out my blue dice with these uh, sure purple dice. The right Five, three, a different three, <laughs> <laughs> two, two, one. All right. As I was saying, we can add or subtract numbers in order to hit exactly the things we want on our, on everything. So let me put that away. All right. What do I want? The world is mine. So if you're just joining us like Dan, um, we're just drafting tiles. We're going to be putting our tiles into a four by four grid. This is the first scenario of Divinus. Yes. And um, I don't think there's too many spoilers. There are going to be stickers and stuff that we unlock, but there's going to be 12 scenarios. Scenarios. Yes. Um, and I think it's just, just the beginning. There's, So I think you'll be fine. You'll be fine. To watch. Yes. I'm going to go here and take... It just gives us a little taste. Exactly. Give you, you enough of a taste? That? Yes. Why? Maybe I wanted that. Uh, then you should have taken it. I'll, I'll go for it. You'll go for the nine. I'll go for it. <coughs> Bold it can, move. It can go up in the corner. It, you do, it, <laughs> so you don't have to say where it is in the no, grid. No, you don't. Fortunately. No. All right. Well, I'm definitely... I'm going to take this and hit eight. And wow. the only place I can place it, doop, is right there. Sure. I need a water. There's water. I should go. F <laughs> sure, I'll just do that. Instead of placing this die, I'm going to take back my dice. And I will roll them. I believe. I'm not sure. I think you get to see what I roll when I take them back. Yeah, I believe so. I'm fairly sure. Reroll all of your dice, both exhausted and ready. So where's my... Oh, I put it in the box. Oh, wow. Two sixes, a five, a four, Seems and a pair of pretty ones. pretty good. Now, I could either put this on the 5, 4, or 3 with my 4 and my 1. Or 1. Or I could take my dice the... back because I'm trying to compete for symbols at the moment. So I'm kind of like, even though this tile is looking really nice, but I don't know. That would give Michael a leg up, I think. And I don't want that to happen. The game yesterday just destroyed my Destroy. Face. So... Taking it back? Yep. All right, refresh. All right. Less good. Well, I don't have a really good way of stopping you from what you might do. What? I don't have a good way to stop you. I like that plan. No. 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 Well, shoot. What? It gave you lots of options. It gave me some options. Lots of options. I don't like some of these options. I will take that for eight. Five and four is nine minus one is eight. Mm -hmm. Where to put this? Well, I think I have to do this. Okay. That will give you the first polis. All right, so you can show them on the app if you want to do it. All right, so that's perfect there. All right, so we have fulfilled a quest. The first polis. You have fulfilled a quest. 
And Nell has completed it. <laughs> oh, something's going to happen here. You arrive at a beautiful valley inhabited by the Greeks. Recognizing your power, they kneel before you and ask for your guidance in these turbulent times. Wise and Nell, our people have always lived in harmony with Mother Gaia. Her sacred forest provided for us through generations. We fear, however, that our peaceful ways will soon change. Worrying rumors have reached us about bearded warriors from the north, threatening our land. Some among us advocate for cutting down Gaia's holy forest and building in its place a mighty citadel to protect us against the invaders, while others strive for keeping our old ways. Which way is right? Choose. Preserve Gaia's holy forest or build the citadel. Guys, should I choose the forest? Preserve it. Or should I build the cit citadel? Ah. I think they should be the gods if you can't make this decision. Well, I wanted to see what they wanted to say. <laughs> I was going to go with save, preserve the forest. So I, I'm with... Birds are a bit loud. Yes, you're correct. The birds are. <laughs> He's gonna get clean. out the saws. Yeah, no. <laughs> what are you doing? We're gonna preserve nature, not build a city. Preserve down. Gaia's holy forest. The old priest steps up and bows to you. You speak with great wisdom, Anel. We will take <laughs> good care of the forest, and it will care for us in return. Mother Gaia will surely reward your respect for nature, Anel. Your actions have gained you one red point. One red favor. Wow. Do you actually place the favor on there? Yeah. Or do you wait until the end? No, I got to place it now. Because it doesn't say to place it. Oh, those are rules changes. Don't do that. Um, there are no stickers for that. I think maybe you mark them. No, there's got to be a sticker. Mm, I do not have those things. Right there. No. That is not that. It looks just like it. What? This? No. What? I can't see what the phone is saying. It's not, One, it's not this. That's not a favor. That's a Greek. Oh. Don't look, people. So, no. You get one favor, which it will probably keep track. Anel, apply to location, number two location sticker to any oh. green or brown terrain on your map. Okay. Sure. Number two. Here's number two. Now, there could be, she can place it on any green or brown spot. So okay. it's going to go in this brown. Her holy forest is in the mountains. Yeah. It's a legal placement. Are you ready to proceed? Yeah. Anel. Oh, wow. Apply one of these faction stickers to any tile Ooh, on your map. Wow. Wow. Holy mackerel. That's a lot. I don't know where to put it. I should put uh, it in You a, really don't have many choices. I can put it here, here, or, here, or here. That's correct. So the thing is, like... We don't know where these tiles are going in the end. Like, these might be my tiles that I'm drafting for the whole game. Like, I don't really know. We don't know. know. And, or they could be put it back in the mix I for the I think they're going to be put back in the mix, but we don't know. It's really challenging. I guess I'll put it up in the water. Holy mackerel, that's interesting. It could be like a crazy good tile, though. But so could that. Oh, uh, I can't help gosh, you with this. I don't know. All right, let's just do this. Put it the right way so Michael doesn't have a hissy fit. What's up? I didn't put the tree the right way, but that's fine. <laughs> uh, glad someone said something. I was very confused and checking my tabs for open YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Because they're not used to music on our stream. No, it's true. So, sorry, guys. <laughs> the monkey. All right. Um, there we go. So, 
Now look, you're ahead. Did I? Yeah, you're yeah, ahead. That's right. Yeah, that's right. No. What do you mean no? No, I'm doing this. Boom. Ugh. I have now completed the Barbarian Quest. No. Uh, yeah, that's exactly what happened. <laughs> no. That, yeah, no. That is what happened. So, quest complete. Unleash the Horde. Have you fulfilled? Yes. Stormageddon. Next. You hear them before you see them. A vast horde of barbarians heading your way. Their entire tribe is on the move, migrating with women, children, and all their belongings. You do not recognize these strangers, for they are neither Greeks nor Vikings. But they instantly recognize your godly heritage, and they fall to their knees, terrified by your presence. Oh, mighty one, we come to this land drawn by the power of the gods, seeking their protection. We are confused by all these different gods fighting against one another. Which of them should we worship? Giant Emir or Mother Nature Gaia? Oh. <laughs> I don't know. I think maybe if I choose Gaia, I'm ahead. I'm ahead on the Norse, and I could get a point each. I could play both sides. Mangit says Gaia. <laughs> Had to get a lawnmower out of a ditch. <laughs> Sounds bad, Panic. <laughs> <laughs> Follow Mother Gaia. Follow Gaia and prosper from her generosity. The land is rich thanks to her. And nature can provide for all. Nature, Follow nature's call and you are sure to prosper here. Joy overcomes all the barbarians. They feel reassured that migrating to this land was the right choice. They will find a good life here. Praise to be Gaia, the caring mother. Stormageddon, your actions have gained you one red. Proceed. Satisfied, the barbarians ask you to guide them to a good place to build their settlement. Apply the number five terrain token. That's a ram's head. To any green or brown terrain on your map. Ooh. Hey, Lisa. Hello, Amsterdamer Lisa. It's late for you. Welcome in, though. Happy to have you. Where do we place this? I don't know. This might be a good spot. So we did have to do a couple tiebreakers. So there's reason to have more symbols in a in, region versus in a region. another region. Yeah, that's why I was going to place it here in this mountain region. Yeah. All right. All right. Are you ready to proceed? Yes. Oh, what is that? Stormageddon. Take the sticker bearing the title, The Horde Unleasher. <laughs> Stormageddon, the Horde Unleashed. Yes. And add it to the designated space on your demigod oh box. Oh my god. Oh, where is the, the spot on my demigod box? <laughs> we did not get this last time. That I remember, anyway. Is it on titles? It's not name. Maybe it's on the back. That's an artifact space. Oh. I'm guessing it's a title. The yeah. Horde Unleasher. Oh my god. <laughs> Demo God Michael. <laughs> Demo God. Storm Storm Again. Storm Again. Storm Again. The Horde Unleasher. <laughs> At the end of the scenario, whoever has the most barbarians on their map will gain one favor oh. from Gaia. Well, that changes my next play. Well, maybe. No, definitely. All right. You have a message. I'll let you deal with that. Uh -huh. What's Bryant. your next play? It's Bryant. He'll be there all weekend, Lexicon. Good. Okay. My next play will be to get this... Barbarian. Barbarian. My next play will be to take back my dice. Oh, look at that. Tasty tiles. I keep having to fetch my uh, my dice rolling apparatus. Do this. I have two or one. 
Yes, that is correct. I don't really or love zero. either of them, so let's just go ahead and pull them back. Pull them back! Oh, ho, 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 ho. oh, it looks so good. This is pretty good, uh, Lisa. It's it's only the first scenario, so we can't really tell you exactly like what's gonna happen or anything. Um, yeah, we not, don't. Not that I don't. Not that happen. I want to tell you what <laughs> what's happening. Did you get the next one too? Did I get the next one too? Lose. I have three. You have three. I have none. I mean, I'm not gonna be getting it. Basically, I am going to get it. Yeah. And I am filling up the world. With barbarians. All right, I'm going to do this one. This was all touchy-feely and then Stormageddon. <laughs> <laughs> yes, my character's name is Stormageddon. Well, I need a marker. I need a marker to Stormageddon this thing up. I don't have a marker. Thanks for subscribing, Colorfly Girl. Yay, thank you. That's so good. <laughs> well, yeah, hello like you there. Did, just did that, just like yesterday. I heard the first one is only creating the map, and the second one is more story-like. Well, I mean, this has a lot of story. It's, I mean, he did a lot of reading. I did a lot of reading at the start. So, she says this is how, this was on her wish list, how is it? So, yeah, so far, I really like it. I like drafting tiles using dice. Now, we already like, played the first one, but we did not stick or anything. We didn't stick or anything. On it. purpose. And we didn't hit end game, so we don't know what's going to We don't happen. know what happens at end game, because we oh. intentionally said, all right, whatever points I got, that's what you can put in your app. Right. And then we're not going to count it. Right. So, yeah. So, we'll see what happens. <clears throat> we will find out. Something will happen. Something's going to sure. happen. But I, I'm liking what it's doing right now. I really like what it's doing. Yeah. So the question is, what do I go for? Again, the first scenario seems kind of basic for drafting and placing tiles. You're not doing that much with these with regards to the goals, like have four blues, you know, have the biggest mm -hmm. green region, etc. But I know and can feel that it's going to get more challenging with more goals and more things to focus on and lots of different strategies depending on what you're doing. Correct. So I can see that happening in this world. Now, the first game doesn't have a whole lot of it, but it has it. Yeah, well, I didn't describe how the game ends. The game ends as soon as one player has got their 4x4 four four grid. That's true. Yeah. So that's important for end game results. Yes. Well, I do have a way to, um, to get that last little bit. I just So I just have more options if I... I have more options if I do this. Tummy. Uh, my, yeah, it's my tummy. If I do nine, then you can't stop me from getting 11 at some point, which seems really good. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, is there any way for me to get 11 with these numbers? No. No, no there's not. not. At but all. there is 9. I can get 9. So I I yeah. I could get 9 or I could just leave it for her. But I think I will take it. I think I will take it. Because now I, I still have options for 11. Well, I might as well take 12 because I can make it work in my You tableau. can make it work. I, can... I don't... See, I could continue this huge water region, but I don't... Ah, man, I just don't know. So until you connect something here, you have two water areas. Yeah. Two distinct water areas. So the question is, what does she want the most or does she want the... Right. Uh, I mean, so that, that assumes that you will end the game because... And that I won't have an extra tile to put here. Correct. But if I wanted to end the game, I'm going to have to fill in a 4x4 four four grid. Correct. So... Eh. It's likely that I will be connecting that at some point. I 
I think I will go ahead and grab that. Oh, wait a second. Yeah, that actually does it right there. So, um, I now have four. The winter has now come. I'm going to need that. No. Uh, so sorry. Whoa. Have you fulfilled this quest? Stormageddon has. Traveling along the shore, you encounter a large host of Vikings disembarking in the bay. It strikes you that it is not only their warriors who arrived with the fleet, but entire families with all of their belongings. Soon you are greeted by their scouts. Demigod! Demogod. <laughs> Have you come to help us seize this land for the Nordic gods? Good! This site is perfect for establishing our first foothold, but we cannot agree on what we should build first. A stone circle honoring Ymir to show our gods claim to this land, or a fortified keep to secure our position against counterattacks by the locals. I think we should build a stone circle. What do you guys think? Julie says, kick him out. Fortification. Fortification from Manget. Mm. Mangetsu Ame. Oh. What were the options? I realize this is not the point, but since when did the Norse build stone circles? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe then maybe that's Amir's jam is stone circles. I don't know. Today, uh, to, today, Dan, Toady, today. Oh, today is when the Norse build stone circles. Today. <laughs> so. We have one vote for fortification. See, I thought if we did calling me Tony? if we did the stone circle, then at least I would have the same footing that she has. What do you mean? You have with a, regards to you Gaia. Have, you have a title. I do have a title. I don't have a title. I want a title. I'll give you a title. <laughs> Pick something. <laughs> Mistress of Chaos. Yeah. That's you. That's a good title. It is a good title. All right. Yeah. I, think I'm, I think I'm going to do the stone circle just because we need something to keep. To, to uh, We need the, the Ymir version of the Gaia forest thing. Mm -hmm. So, going once, going twice. If anyone else, the delay is going to get them. They're not going to be able to respond. I'm going to build the stone circle. Do it. You didn't click it. I didn't click it. Isn't Ymir opposing Gaia? Yes. Yeah. However, we can work both sides. Yeah. We're in the middle. We're in the middle. With the help of your demigod strength, the Vikings gather huge stones, and together you place them in a circle on top of a cliff. These stones will stand here for eternity, <laughs> reminding everyone whose gods rule this land. Ymir will draw his power from this holy circle. And he is sure to be pleased with your help, oh mighty Stormageddon. Stormageddon, your actions have gained you one blue favor. Proceed. Apply the stone circle location symbol to any grassland or mountain terrain on your map. It reminds me of a lost symbol. Oh my goodness. Maybe it is. And you know where I'm going to place this? In a spot. I'm going to place this in a spot. Yeah. I am actually going to place this. I think I'm going to place it in this, uh, to make this land be worth somewhat the same as well, so some like of the Bones other lands. John is like here. He came back and he's going to go to bed and he's doing, he says we're doing a, a grand, grand job. job. Does that mean we're doing a terrible job? Maybe we're doing a grand job, but he hates us more for it. We are in the red. Come on. We were in the red for a second. Hopefully not longer than that. It's fine. All right. I'm ready to proceed. Stormageddon. Bones, John. Apply a Norse faction sticker to any tile on your map. What? Yes. That was awfully nice of you, Panic. What did Panic do? Oh, said good night. Normally he just says night. 
Good Oh, wishing him a good <laughs> night. That was a good night. So, the question is, I can apply it to my water, which would be nice. Yeah? But I, there's no way I'm going to be able to challenge her, because she has so many more water symbols than I if do. If I, yeah. I should probably apply this to a mountain symbol of some sort. Likely. <laughs> I will blame Bones. <laughs> I will blame Bones. <laughs> Hope your dad is doing well. All right. There we go. Are you ready to proceed? Yes. We have no more quests. So now we just fill in our board. Fill in the board. I actually will take this because it's three types. And that seems pretty good. Three types of what? Oh, land. Land. Uh, I'm going to take my dice back. Hit you. I will also take my dice back. And then it's all me. Whoa. Guys, a terrible roll. Do better. I've got a bunch of twos, threes, fours, and fives. That wow. seems fairly good for me. You're feeling charitable panic? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, if I take this, it does do a lot of good stuff. A lot of good. It does a lot of good. It's only one of these symbols, though. And she's got a ton of them. How many barbarians? You only have four barbarians. Five barbarians. I've got seven, but I can't let you sneak up on me. What? What? I can't let you sneak up on me. You can. I don't want to let you sneak <laughs> up on me. That's different. I don't want it. Oh. <laughs> Finally wrapped up work. How is Divinus? I'm undecided on the game found. Um, yeah, it's it's really good. It's got, now we don't know what's going to happen at the end of the game. It said Dan says do not want. Dan just doesn't like these kind of games. I'm guessing he does though. That's that, I does know, he? I don't know what he's talking about. Um, it's pretty good. I mean, we've only played the first, this is the first level of 12, so we don't really know what's to come. I'm curious to see what's to come. Are right. you? Yeah. Yeah. I got really bad numbers. You can re-roll them. Here's 12. That is 12. I kind of thought you might actually do that. You only have four left. That's pretty sad. It's <laughs> a bad roll. It is. It is a bad roll. My next move, actually, it pretty much determines how the rest of my board is going to look. Yeah. I am at the same spot-ish. Stop rolling like you. Yeah, Susan. Josh, you make my dice, like, poor. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. Dan doesn't buy games that require apps because he doesn't know what an app is. Uh, that is probably true. <laughs> to be fair, you're missing out on a lot of good games because of it. Uh, that also is true. That's a lot of symbols right there. I can have... I can have a one... Two, three, four, four. four. But those are like not great. Can't help you with that. So I will just roll because it's not great. We don't really know what the sacred sites are for yet. So we don't really value them at all. You know, the yes. first game has us going for these symbols. And... I mean, at the end of the game, it could ask, it could say, hey. 
Who has the most of the sacred symbols? You're going to get a bonus. We don't know That's yet. That's true. We don't know yet. Yeah. <laughs> we somehow end up with a ton of those. Yeah. They, they work for some people. They don't work for other people. <laughs> Panic. I pretty much require all games that require a nap. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'll take back and open up my options. So the thing is, now there's only one tile left. We fill in, I fill in suppose, and eight, and then nine comes from over there. Um, I don't know. That sounds good. Let me look. Let me look. Oh, I forgot about overbuilding. Oh, yeah, you can overbuild. We can also overbuild. As long as the terrain Matches. works. Yeah, okay. You can overbuild. That's interesting. I forgot about that. I don't think it's really that handy in a scenario one, but I can see it being handy in a... In another scenario, yeah. yeah. Um... Rest action... If a stack is empty, fill from the other stack instead. I guess we'll do it from... It says fill spaces 7 through 12. So, how about that and then that? Well, so you're going to win the Barbarian. I'm going to win the Barbarian for sure. There's nothing I can sure. do about that. You had to try it. I did. So now it's about trying to figure out what works best. Some old VCR games have put the video online. That is correct. Let's go with... I do have Nightmare. I'd like to play once before I get rid of it. Eight. So I'm definitely going dun, down. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, you're going down. Going down. You're going down. Downtown. Downtown. Oh, what to do here? Not his best work. Whose best work? Sid Saxon. Sid Saxon. Two VCR games. My entire game collection is seen at games. That's a lie. <laughs> That's a lie, Dr. Stein. <laughs> I never played seen it. <laughs> so maybe it's great. So you haven't seen it? Nope. <laughs> Dan has not played the VCR games. And you know what? That does not surprise me. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be mean to Dan. <laughs> this actually seems fairly good. How can I get this working? Sure. All right. Done. With that. I'm rolling. Believe it or not. Okay. I'm going to roll two. Ah, rolled my special. I rolled my special. And I got It's bound my to happen. That is what I maybe want, sort of, kind of. Wow, that leaves me no options if I do that. That would be stupid. Stupid. Stupid, stupid options? Mm. 
Uh, that's not 11. 20. I was thinking about getting the 10 and... That's 11. That is 11. Is that what I want, though, is the problem? Mm, that is a good question. That is a really good question. Because uh, I'm probably not going to need any more grassland is the thing. Uh, I kind of like that. Kind of like what? The grassland? Some tile on the board I kind of like. Mm. Is that the tile? I do like that one, sure. But, um... Wow, I don't know. Sounds like 11. Yeah. Hmm. Yikes. If I do that, I'm really closing myself in. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> no risk, no reward. Take back my dice. How about me too? Oh. Did you take that one I needed? Which oh one? my god, you took the one I needed. I had one thing I could take. <gasps> oh no. Right. I had exactly one thing that two fives would take. Well, that's not for me so then what then what indeed uh, I'll just take this oh, where do you go though that's a question I guess like that hmm. You had exactly three spots <laughs> that has to have exactly those tiles. Don't worry about me. Uh. Whatever. So one question: Should I get this game? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Steph's gonna say yes. My opinion would be yes, but yes. I like I like drafting tiles and making my own thing. I like. Going for common goals. These are things that I like. Yes. And I can see that this game can get deeper as w as you move through the scenario. So I can see that happening. And I... I like it. Don't take that. That one? Don't take that. Already took it. Don't take that. Did it. Huh. Don't like that. No, I know. Do you know? Because uh, I, I, need I know now. Alright, I'll take that because that actually fits. If it fits, it sits.
No possible way I'm going to win the water battle. Yeah. You're going to have to take back dice. I will, unless I take spot number four. Spot number four. For what? Oh, over building. Here, but over building. It, it would be silly. I always I forget about over building. I might have to, though, if I can't find the right tiles that you took away from me. Keep forgetting about over building. Um, Plaid Hat, Forgotten Waters. That That's a really cool game. It's a really cool game. The app worked well there too, yeah. Alright, back you come, Dice. God, why do I roll all threes? That almost works. That works. Yeah, you do have... That's the one I needed. Number seven. Mm-hmm. Can you get seven? No. Yeah, you can. You can get seven. Sadly, you can get seven. I don't see how. No, that's good. I will take it back, dice. Putting All out the these. last two. It's pretty much ridiculous. <laughs> what What are you doing? Oh. Oh, you're trying to see if you can do it. What are you rolling? Can you roll? So I oh, know I what need to do. roll. I can hit just about everything. Yeah, you got all the numbers. I got all the numbers. Well, because I don't want to miss my chance to actually take this, I will take that. Because that actually fits. Nice. Wow. And I can overplay something if I have to in this area. Well, you might end it right yeah, now I could, anyway. I can end it right now. Yeah, all right. So then that was definitely or, the better idea. Can I end Yeah, I can end it. Yeah, yeah. Yep, Rog. You have four mountain areas. I do. Oh, crap. I need to make a fourth mountain area then. That sucks. Well, if you're if you're playing a tile in that hole, you will be making another mountain area. Well, I also was trying to get the water area, which I'm not going to be able to get because we're going to tie... Gonna have to end it. No! Gonna have to end no! it. No! Alright, so from here, the app comes. Lucky Duck does put out. End games. scenario? Yeah. I kind of want to steal the drafting mechanic from my Carcassonne game. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Thus ended the first encounter between the two pantheons. You did well. <coughs> Excuse me. Taking part in this important moment, learning your powers, which are already immense and will, which will only grow stronger. As I foresaw, the Nordic gods and their people have landed and claimed vast swaths of Greek land as their own. As much as it saddens me, gods and humans from the north will not be able to coexist peacefully with the gods and humans of Greece, at least not yet. The first conflicts have already begun, and only a spark separates us from the outbreak of a terrible war. Which player has the most planes areas? I have four. <clears throat> I have three. Stormageddon! Whatever. Stormageddon, your actions have gained you one. However, something flashed up before this. Which plays the most water areas? I have three. You also have three, but you I have the tiebreaker. Uh, yeah. You still have the tiebreaker. Okay. Because I only have three symbols. 
Anel. Your actions have gained you one red favor. Who has the most mountain areas? I have four. Three. Stormageddon. No, I have four too, but yeah. You still have more symbols, I think. Yeah. Which player has the single largest planes area? I have a six. Yep. One blue favor. Who? Which player is the largest single water? I have six. You have six. Mm-hmm. And now... One blue favor. Who has the single largest mountains area? I have three. That would be me then. As I told you, the barbarians have yet to play their part. Stormageddon, you have not hesitated to guide these people as you see fit. The consequences of this choice remain to be seen. They may be but pawns, but humans have a will of their own, and I still cannot see where the barbarians will stand at the end of all this. Let us see which one of you is closest to them so far. Which player has the most barbarians? That's also Stormageddon. Boo! You are really ambitious for such a tiny creature, Stormageddon. I like that. This is Ymir talking. You've chosen the right side, the victorious side. We will take over this land, and by building the stone circle, you've clearly shown our rightful claim to it. This is the right of the conquerors. Let me share a bit of my strength with you, little one. Take this and seize more lands from the Nordic Pantheon. Oh. What's this? Apply die sticker 12. What? To any unstickered <laughs> side of one of oh your God. dice. I'm so good. <laughs> He'll I'm never gonna... roll it, though. He'll never roll it. So I'm going to put it on the same die. As the 3-6. As the 3-6. The way that they're going to balance it is that they're not going to make all the really valuable tiles really expensive anymore. I don't know. I don't know. And I'm going to put it on the 2 side because even numbers don't seem to be as flexible as odd numbers. That's probably true. It could be why I'm having problems, but I haven't. I didn't. Oh, really like actually, three, should six. probably put it in the four. That's too late. <laughs> wow. Well. I've done it. Are you ready to proceed? Yes. Greetings, Anel. I come to thee, for I've seen how, despite these turbulent times, you've cared for the well-being of both nature and people. I don't know where your power came from, but it pleases me to see you're using it for the right cause. I wish to grant you this gift encouraging you to continue down this path. Apply a 135 Whoa. die sticker. Wow. The gods have noticed your actions and have seen fit to reward them with their favor. They will keep reacting to your deeds and the way you fulfill their quests. By now, each pantheon already has their favorite among you. Come closer and take a look. Here, you can always see who the god's favorites are at any given moment. And heed my warning, the god's favor can swing at any time, and I foresee that it will do so many times. You still have a long path ahead of you, young ascendants. Find rulebook sticker R6. All right, so, who, if you don't want to hear it, Spoiler alert now. Just mute. You should mute. My daughter is rooting for you, Steph. I wow. know. Thank you. Thank you. It's appreciated. I need all the help I can get. <laughs> Where is rule book sticker R6? We have stickers. R3. R5. R4. Oh, holy mackerel. It's a, like a page It's a full. whole page. <laughs> wow. R6. Where does R6 go? Oh. oh, it's under resolving ties. Okay. The amount of favor you have is tracked by the app. The player who has the most favor with the Pantheon is considered the favorite. This will have an impact on the narrative and how the world reacts to your actions. Location stickers correspond to a faction which is associated with a pantheon. When any player explores a location, they receive a benefit and trigger an event. 
In addition, the Pantheon's favorite, if it's not the exploring player, also immediately receives a benefit. Mm. If the exploring player is the favorite, they do not get this additional benefit. It no. is forfeited. If there's a tie for most favor, the player who most recently scored favor with that Pantheon is considered to be the favorite. In other words, last in is first. You can always check the current favor standings in the app to find out who's in the lead, but you may also track your favor on the side of your demigod box. That's what I was thinking. Like, all the time they were saying, you get a red one. I'm like, am I supposed to be marking my box? <laughs> <laughs> You were expecting the sound to go out when we said mute. Yeah. That would be timely. <laughs> That's happened before. All right. Let's stick this in this end of book. Wow. It's like huge. Oh, you it's... just you just picked up my page. <laughs> Steph, what are you doing? It's a prototype. It's fine. You just literally picked up my page. The When you pulled down, you picked it up. I need you to... Steph. I need you to pay attention. No, no, no. I need you to hold this. You're not paying attention. Well, You're like people looking are leaving, at the... so I'm trying to say bye. It does not matter. No, don't pull, please. I'm not pulling. I need you to, I need I'm you to just hold holding. it. Just holding it. And please do not touch the book. Not touching anything. Thank you. Bye, guys. Yeah, you picked that dude up, and it went right in the middle of my sticker. Yeah, my bad. Mistress of Chaos. All right, now you can say bye. So Susan's going. I don't. I still don't know who Mag Magetus Magetsu is. I'm Wait a if... second. Me and Clinker Popper have to go. Who are you? Speak your name. Speak your name. <laughs> are you? Are you one of the kids? It's gotta be. It's gotta be. Don't know who. It's gotta be one of. The, I think it's one of the girls. Gotta be. Gotta be. Doesn't I don't gotta think be. it's Devin. I think it's one of the girls. All right. Well, who likes the name Sylvia or Sylvia? Panic's like, oh, I'll just slap it on there. No, it would have <laughs> been like literally diagonal at that point. <laughs> Are you ready to proceed? Yes. Anel, take or keep. The first player marker and store it inside your demo god box. I will. You shall be the first player in the next scenario. Yep. All right. So, how do we determine how many we have? Oh, it's on there in really small writing. I have four red. Now, wait a second. What? I don't get this. Get what? I have more Gaia favor. You have more Emir favor. Yet I'm the favorite? I don't get it. Um. Currently, I have four red and two blue. Yeah. You have two red and two blue. Yeah, you have more overall, so you're the overall not, favorite. Not my point. My point is, Ymir chose me blah, 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 blah. Mm hmm But you have more um, Ymir favor. Gaia chose you to be her favorite, blah, 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 blah. But that's not true because I'm ahead in favor. Right, but I have her tree, so maybe that had something to do I with it. I don't know. I don't also know. I, th I think she I, was just saying that I'm losing, therefore you get to go mm, first. That's not what I'm saying. Okay, I'm I don't know. Okay, I'm saying when they were giving us, a, they had the picture of Ymir, mm -hmm. and it said, Oh, Stormageddon, you, uh, you are a strong, puny creature, I like that. <laughs> But you have more Ymir favor, according to this. I, that needs that needs to be clearer. Somewhere.
See, I've only got two of this blue favor. Notice, if you win with Ymir, it's blue. Mm -hmm. uh, but I won most of the Ymir's things. All, so, how would he know that? Because you put it in, saying, mm -hmm. I won this region, I won that region. That's, that's two of his three. You won what? Biggest blue, biggest brown regions. So I, I qualified you got for two. those two. Not also not my point. Okay, I, I don't. I've know. also got two. Yeah, you got two from here. Uh, yes, I got them from here. Yeah. You got them from there. That's fine. Yeah. That means you should be Ymir's favorite. But that's not what the. I'm, what I'm saying is, is that what it is is not what the app said. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Yeah. All right, let's switch to the thing. Demo got some of that demos games with superpowers. Yes, we are. This was our demo of which we were gods. So it's really weird because the app said demo god at the start. It's hilarious <laughs> considering this is a game demo. It is. So... And so there's enough in the box where we can do a second scenario, but... Um... See, that's just weird. You, you remember what all I read? Oh, oh, Anel, we're glad that you did this for, for me and blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. But that, doesn't, that did not make you the favorite because the favorite is tracked by the favor. Right. So I don't, I don't, I don't understand. That needs to be made clearer somewhere, I think, in the rules. Otherwise, really, it, it, you, there are a lot of really good, interesting decisions in this game, especially when you are deciding where to place stickers or whether to cut down the forest or whatever. Um, and since neither of us, since both of us, Honored the gods instead of chopping it down. When you play, it could be different. It definitely And that's that's another reason why I chose the same way you did. That way, whether they decide to go with our way or the other way, you don't know which way is better. Yeah. And but that's so it lessens the spoiler effect you know oh, what i'm saying in our first game nobody got a label yeah we did i did oh you i didn't did. i didn't i didn't put the sticker on oh i didn't know you got a label I, yeah i got one but i didn't put the label on mm. because we weren't stickering anything yeah matter of fact we were using little meeples to place where the things were the little stickers were in case we needed something um i will say you still sticker things if you choose the other option because i chose the other option on the game that i played but I want it to be a surprise to you when you guys decide to play. Do you choose the way we went or do you choose your own path? So I think what I should have done is put is like we, we were racing to get the symbols, right? I mean, that's what we we're trying to do. Well, I think everyone does the first time we, we, we did that our first game. But it would have been nice to have some of the stickers on like crystals tiles so like randomly and one will show up in the next game over on that side mm -hmm. but but we, we didn't we didn't have we i didn't have it we don't know why the crystal sites are important yet we don't know i'm sure that they are important oh some i am sure they're going to be important as well so yeah. um we just didn't know at the end of the last game what would happen mm -hmm. didn't know. so if i had start next scenario no i'm not gonna do it <laughs> no, I'm not going to no, do it. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So it's really cool. Um, I like it a lot. It's I, got lots of good chunkiness in it. Yeah, I will definitely want. And we're out of tiles. I mean, yeah. that's all the tiles. So what is out there is like really precise, you know, and so you have to piece things together the way you really need them to be. So do you, do you, you can't go after the most and go after the biggest on everything. We split 3-3, three, three, I think. So. Yeah, if you didn't end it when you did, I would have gotten this tile, which would have given me an extra mm -hmm. blue region, an extra green region, and that actually might have given me something more, but I don't really know. Uh, would have given you... Most blue? No, I did get would most have, blue. No, I have, I have four green regions. Mm -hmm. 
So it would so. have it would have given you your fourth green region. Mm. Yeah. So it wouldn't have it wouldn't have mattered. Still, you can't get everything, which is good. You never want to give your players everything that they want. Um, I'm interested to know what goes on in the other eleven scenarios. Yeah. Um, as soon as this is fully available. I will be excited to play through the entire thing for sure. Right, and I don't want to. I don't think I want to play the second scenario yet. So um, we might carry these decisions over. We'll find the same tiles and sticker up our new set so we can play on scenario two. Um, since we know what's going on, and maybe we just start over. Maybe we start over. It depends on how long it so, is. So to be fair, Lisa, this and Destinies are very different. Like extremely different in my opinion um because you're exploring a map this is you're yeah. uncovering and exploring a map in destinies and uh now they're both of them being ab driven for sure both of them having choices that impact the environment and the game that's for sure but i think that's where the similarities stop this is all you know tile placement and but who knows what region this, control yeah who knows what this turns out to be Remember, this is Gaia versus Ymir, and there are more spots For left. More guard, yeah. So we don't know what happens next scenario. Right. This could become, you know, where, you know, what happens when the stone circle is on a map, or the, that's where you're. That's where the exploring the regions happens, and like if you put this down, I get the benefit because I am the favorite. On that God's whatever, right? What is that favor? We don't know. Yeah, so it's it's hard to really compare because this is this actually has more story than I might have first originally thought. But the destinies is like full on story. You are exploring. You are for shaping reasons. the story. You you're are not doing yeah. things for that. I mean, it's not to say this doesn't. You're do going that, to a wizard's hut and you're turning in this thing in order to get whatever. Yeah. Which will help you in another spot and. Yeah. This is you more... venture to the other spot. You don't actually go out on the map. This, on this. Yeah, this feels more Euro and Destinies feels more like RPG because you're managing your stats and, you know, you're doing these different things like that. Even though it is a competitive game, um, but this feels more euro -y. I mean, obviously you're placing tiles and <laughs> creating regions and stuff. Um, there's dice. I don't know. They're both very different. I guess I would be more inclined to play this one over the other one. Well, you love tile placement. I really do. So. <laughs> um, and this... I still have Destinies, and I, I will play it. It's just a matter of... Yeah, we just got to get to it. Got to get to it. Um, <laughs> yeah, and I, don't, I... You know, it's hard to say which which one would you play, one or the other. Why not both? Why not both? I mean... Where's that meme, right? <laughs> I'm all about the... You know, played them all. Um, there are more stickers. No spoilers because stickers. it's it's sort of hard to not spoiler when I have to look at the stickers in order to peel off a sticker. There are more stickers with more numbers on this. That's to say they might box it differently. It's possible. They might box it differently. Um, so, again, this is just prototype. Whatever you're seeing here is subject to change <laughs> because... It's just on GameFound right now. Uh, they um, they might enter. They might have different terrain types pop up. They might have, um, you know, all sorts of other objectives and stuff. You know, yeah. not just collect collect the most symbols. Yeah. So I'm really looking forward to it. Plus, again, it's not. If you look at it as playing. Okay, one thing about I guess we'll talk about my my thoughts about legacy games, um, and why I don't mind destroying, though I don't think it's destroying, destroying the components uh, or permanently modifying the components of your of your games. I mean, if you've got a collection of 12 games, you probably played those 12 games a lot. If you've got a collection of 100 games, you probably play them a little bit fewer times. If you have a collection of 1,800 games, how many times are you playing each of those games? If I'm playing a game 12 times, 
it's going to be a good, it's got to be a good game for me to play it that many times with that many games on the shelf. So, you know, if I'm going to spend money on a game and get, I get 12 uses out of it, it's probably good. That said, it's not just 12 uses, it's 12 uses plus, plus the final legendary game. mode. Or yeah. en I think it's en endless mode. Yeah. I think it's what they call it. It's pretty good. Um, so it's not eternal mode. There it is, eternal mode. So it's not just 12 plays, you're done. Yeah. You get to play something brand new and unique. Because your game is going to be different yeah. than our game is going to be. So, um, you know, is, is the scenario replayable? I don't know. I mean, we just replayed the first one. Again, we stick, we didn't sticker, we didn't sticker things. But I mean, if you were to buy a second copy of Destinies, could you replay it? Possibly. I know a lot of people who have played My City multiple times. Oh, My City is fantastic. Yeah. So. So. Destinies, I'm not as confident that you could replay it just because. Because the locations and. I strongly in... remember that first scenario yes. that we've played. Yes. Again, that was still prototype, so I could probably go back and replay it and things might have changed. But the good so. thing is, is that it tells a story. Yeah, that's true. You know, um, uh, how I, you know, I, I do and I totally enjoy Euros. I'll never not enjoy Euros. But I've never gone like three or four years later going, remember that time I built that really fantastic engine on that Euro? And it didn't tell a story. Games that tell a story really do stick with you. Doesn't mean they're better, doesn't mean they're worse. But they stick with you. I remember games I've played of Battlestar from 10 years ago that's like, that epic reveal was awesome. I blew <laughs> up every ship in that region. Population went down from 12 to 5. It was really good. So if so, you love story-driven games, Lisa, then I do think Destiny's <laughs> might be a better option if you're comparing the two. But if you like Legacy, both would work. Both would be fine. I so agree. yeah. Love story driven games. But well, and again, me, Destinies may not be as replayable. They're lesser. <laughs> wrong, 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 wrong. But that's just different different people. I want them different, all. <laughs> different I I agree, Lisa. Just play them all. Just, I mean, that's the, I want them all. Um, so yeah, definitely worth checking out. I'm going to put that link in the chat one more another time. Yeah. Assuming my paste button works. Nope. Nope. <laughs> the answer to that is nope. Julie says all. All. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I guess phones do not remember paste. I'll give Michael the win for that. Uh, Shrafe, you've got it handy. Yeah, it's like who actually won that game? I mean, I mean, it looks like you have two out of three, and so I I have yeah. a score of one, and you have a score of two. Okay, so like next game we will play some, and then but then if I'm ahead, did I win? Did you win? And did you catch up? I mean, nobody knows. I mean, that is a question. Let me copy that game found. Link. I could just say Michael won with the one because we played scenario one. And then next time. Uh, oh, thanks, Ray. There it is. Thanks, Ray. I was just, just getting to it. Also looking forward to the Robin Hood game from Michael Menzel because of this story driven. Hmm. What's the Robin Hood game? I Don't think know. it's Cosmos. Oh, cool. But um, let's be right back and we'll talk about it. Be right back. Check it out. Divinus on Game Found. Divinus, Divinus.